cold, rainy, and muddy aren't exactly the most ideal conditions for a Suniac Cross Country Championship, but that didn't stop Geneseo from coming out on top in both the men's and women's championship races. The course is nothing that I've ever seen before. It was crazy. Uh, it was definitely challenging. It was, it was a matter of moving when you could. And moving, the Geneseo Knights did in spite of the sloppy conditions. Sean McEnany, a junior at Geneseo, came in first out of 112 total finishers with a time of 28 minutes and 28.2 seconds around the 8 kilometer course. His teammates Jack Tate and Bradley Farnham finished in second and third in the race respectively, while seven Knights runners overall finished among the top 15 in the race. The guys kept me focused up there. Jack and Brad did a great job at uh, commanding the pace and really doing a stellar job at uh, making sure we came away with a win. Meanwhile, the Knights women's cross country team also took home the conference trophy in the women's championship race, led by senior Elise Ramirez with her finish of 24 minutes and 2.8 seconds. Out of 104 finishers, seven Knights finished in the top 10, with a Geneseo runner finishing in each of the top five finishes. We were very confident. I'm definitely proud of our team. Going one through five is like a really big deal. And yeah, I thought the race, it didn't feel too great, but I didn't expect it to feel that great. It's the fifth straight conference title for the men's team and the eighth in a row for the women's team at Geneseo. A title is satisfying enough, but getting through what Mother Nature threw at these runners means their finish was well earned. I was expecting it to be bad, but definitely not that bad. <laughs> oh, I definitely prefer a dryer, but uh, everyone's facing the same thing, so you gotta go out there and execute best as possible, and I think we did that. But Geneseo isn't content with just a conference title. Soon it will be time to focus on the postseason. Just getting ready for regionals in two weeks, which is kind of like a big deal for us, and I mean, we expect to win that too, but um, then gearing up for nationals the following week, we're really excited for that. So while there's still more work to be done for the races to come, for now, the teams will reflect on their conference titles before hitting the trails once again. We knew that if we focused on what we could do and our own abilities that, you know, SUNY G was going to come through and they did.